come down to a bit of a problem this morning guys little bit of a transmission leak from Mitzi that's not good I was literally just about to take Mitzi out for a drive guys and I noticed a small amount of fluid on the ground it's the transmission fluid I also took a look under the car and there's a slow drip coming from the transmission right so I can either treat this as a simple fix or in true car guy fashion when one minor thing breaks we upgrade the entire car we all know which way i'm gonna go with this shut up and take my money that moves up this next upgrade to the front of the list let me explain what's up guys and welcome back to the vlog for those of you who are new to the channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on awesome content like this Okay, for those of you who don't know yet, Mitzi, my 1995 3000 GT, is the SL front wheel drive model, and she's also got the automatic transmission. So, before you guys crucify me, this is my daily driver. Every other car that I've owned has been manual, and I have plenty more manual project cars coming up in the future. So, hear me out on this one, okay? I want to run a test to see how much power I can get out of the NA non-turbo 3000 GT, and can I make the auto transmission just that little bit more exciting to drive. I'm doing this for you auto trans guys, so pay attention. Right now, the shift through the gears on the stock transmission is just a little boring and slow, and it's just a bit sloppy overall, to be honest. So first of all, I bought this. It's a rebuild kit for an F4A33 transmission, which I have. We're gonna rebuild the transmission and see if we can tighten all of the shift points while also upgrading or replacing all of the seals. Secondly, we're going to install a stronger high stall converter, which will allow us to transfer more power to the transmission and therefore to the wheels. And third, we're going to put in stronger gear sets. Now, the automatic 3000 GT does normally have a weak differential, so sending more power to this is probably going to cause it to give out so we're going to upgrade to a quaif limited quaif whatever way you want to say it limited slip differential from tmz performance which is both reliable and durable and is going to withstand that power being sent to the differential guys i just wanted to jump in and say two things one i'm grabbing a quick rain to fuel up and two if you're going to do this upgrade for your automatic transmission, then go straight to Tim from TMZ Performance and don't go anywhere else because you'll get stupid comments like this, which is clearly shit because I've just done it. Anyway, rant over. Let's get back to the vlog. Is this going to make any difference? Well, only one way to find out, which is why we're here at Simone Performance. These guys have helped me out in the past and done some amazing work. So we're dropping off Mitzi for the automatic transmission rebuild and the LSD swap. So it's actually been a few weeks since the limited slip diff was installed and the transmission was rebuilt. I haven't done a whole lot of filming, guys, so I apologize about that. But that has given me some time to put a few miles on Mitzi, let her settle and enjoy her before winter hit. Luckily though, we've got some good weather today, so I'm gonna take you guys out and talk you through how Mitzi is driving now after the upgrades. So let's get going. Okay, here we go. Ho -ho! She's definitely shifting a lot higher in the rev range than she was before, so. 
that's a lot better. Oh yeah, here we go. And it still hasn't changed. Smooth. Still loads left in that. That's crazy. Just won't upshift. <laughs> just staying in that gear but like there's loads left in it it just literally wants to go and go and go i love it it's actually so good so much better than the original fucking so much better it was the original one was just shifted like kind of straight away so you had nothing no pickup no nothing it was just it was no good this is nice this is really nice when you're sitting in that high rev range as well, it just, there's so much power left to go, which is really nice because like previously it was just, even overtaking was just rough. Now it's, it just kind of wants to stay in that high rev range. It's comfortable there. Still like, you still probably only got like the, the original 222 horsepower, probably less because it's an, it's old and it, it like doesn't have the power behind it but it just wants to sit in that high rev range and wants to go and, and it just it feels like it's able to as well so it's nice it's really nice nice drive you know what guys for anyone that has the automatic transmission i would definitely recommend doing this upgrade just the new lsd from quaif upgrade and tighten the shift points replace all the seals do a whole rebuild i would definitely recommend it if you're not looking to go the route of changing the car to a manual or like replacing the engine altogether then this is the next best thing and definitely changes the driving experience and it's not all that expensive to do i mean compared to other upgrades compared to like replacing the engine and stuff like that it's not all that expensive i'll run through the price with you when i get back to the apartment okay so the burning question how much did this cost i always said from the very beginning that i'd be totally upfront with you guys about how much all of my bills cost with that said the quaif differential with tapered roller bearings and speedo gear installed from tmz performance was 1700 canadian dollars then the full transmission rebuild and install was 3000 canadian dollars in my eyes totally worth it guys if this is the route that you want to go for now though that's it from this vlog hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe until next time slancha